Hi, so my name is Julian. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can add custom tokens on your trust wallet. So this is just a simple guide on how to add tokens that you can't find on trust wallet. And I'm going to share with you step by step how to do this. So this is an issue with people that are buying like new cryptocurrencies that have just been added on coin get um just been added and you can't find them directly on there when you do buy them on like pancake swap. I'm going to share with you step by step guide and how you can actually find these tokens. So the first step would be to come to like Coin Gecko. Let's say you you bought um, one of these tokens. So let's just go to recently added. So I'm just going to do this as an example. So for example, let's say you wanted to buy like um, I don't know, Safe Blast maybe, or well, maybe not Safe Blast, but it could be any coin really, like Clue Coin. So as you can see here, this is where you would find like the token here. You would, this is the address you would use to um, buy the token itself. So when you would go to buy the token on your trust wallet, you normally can't, when you actually buy it, sometimes it doesn't pop up and appear when you do buy it. And you can check, you can check to see it's, you can buy it with PancakeSwap um, version 2. So sometimes you'll notice that it doesn't actually show up in your trust wallet. So I'm going to share with you how you can do this right now. Alright, so as you can see, the first step would be to load up your trust wallet account. Make sure you have signed up. So as you can see here, this is so this is a sort of tokens at the bottom here. As you can see, this kind of thing I had to add it directly on um it wouldn't show up, I had to actually add it. So the way I did this is simple. See these top little bars at the top right of my screen here? I'll put my mouse over it. So you click on those. So as you can see, you can you can show, you can just click this and it'll show um, the, the token on your home page now. As you can see, I've just added it there. But sometimes you don't actually have the option to do that, even if you type it in. So let me show you, like Clue Coin here. Most likely it isn't on the actual network. So now you have to add the address, add the custom token. So how you can do this is simple. You just go here, make sure to change the network. So like I said, make sure you change this network here. As you can see, it's on the Binance network. So Binance. So you want to change it to the Smart Chain. Smart Chain network. See this address here? That's the first step here. But let me show you an easy way to find all the details in one spot. So all you do is go to the BSC scan network. So you just click on that directly on Coin Gecko here, or you can go to the website here, which is bs bsc.scan.com. So now the next step is, I'll just move this to the right real quick. So as you can see, oops, here's the contract decimals, and this is the actual code for the coin. You can see it here, CLU. So you can find everything in the one place. So this is simple. Now you just want to get this code and copy it into the phone. So I'm going to do that really quickly and I'll be back in one. All right, so as you can see, I've just I'm going to about to paste that code in. So this is the first step. As you can see, it automatically pops up all the other information for you. So all you would normally do is if it doesn't pop up like it does right now, you just have to type in these details here. So the nine decimals. So it'll be nine decimals. The symbol like I showed you before right here. And then you just type in the actual name of the token, which is up the top, up the top left here, on my screen that is. And then you pretty much have it connected. Then you just press save, and now as you can see, it's added on your, um, it's added on your home page. It'll be added on the home page here at the bottom, as you can see. But I don't own any of the coin. But if you was to buy it and then add it, it will show up there. So that's how you do it. That's how simple it really is. So I'll go over the process really simple with you really quickly here. So you'd find the token that you can't, you type the token in the top right here. So these little bar here. You type in the token that you wish to add to your wallet. So if you can't find it on here, automatically, if it doesn't automatically show up, so let's just go type in whatever. So let's say it automatically doesn't show up. You simply just want to press that add custom token. Then you want to go find the actual information. So you can find it directly on BSB scan on this website here by typing in the coin. So let's just say you want to type in the coin here. I want to type in clue, clue coin. Clue coin. 
most likely will pop up the actual clue coin here. But if not, if it doesn't do that, then you can put in the address, or you can come to Coin Gecko, Coin Gecko, and type in the coin itself here. So you could type in the coin itself into Coin Gecko and find it directly on here, or if it's recently added, you can do that as well. And then you'll find this link here. They'll take you directly to the website. And then this is a network here, which is Smart Chain. You'll just look for that symbol. So, and you'd also make sure to actually change it to the Smart Chain network. Then paste the address that you can find on the BSB network. And the information is all here that you need to actually add it. So that's how simple it really is to do. So that's, that's that step. So once you've done that, you should have it added at the bottom as I just showed you. So now I just want to go over with you some other, so looking out for what networks they're on. So as you can see, this one is on the BSB network here. I want to show you this other token here that is actually on the Tron network. So as you can see that symbol there. So let's just take a look and look it up real quick. AP, AP NFT, add custom network. So as you can see, here, if you want to change it, see that's the symbol there, that's Tron network. So that's how you would make sure to add like this token to the Tron network. Most tokens are actually on the Ethereum network. So as you can see here, Ethereum network, majority of cryptocurrencies are under the Ethereum network. So that's just a simple, I just want to share with you how to make sure you're actually adding the token to the right network. Most likely it doesn't let you add it if you don't um, do that step. So don't even worry if you make a mistake there because it doesn't actually allow you to add it because it won't pop up. But yeah, just a step that I wanted to share with you really quickly. All right, so now I want to share with you now a simple way to find out um, if the coin is held by a majority of people. So once again, you can come to um, CoinGecko. Let's say you want to, I'm just going to click on a random coin recently added. Let's just go to like this one here. Galax, Galaxima. So you, once again, you want to click on this uh, BSB scan button right here. Let the website pop up. Now this is where you can find, like like I told you, how you can find the details to add it on Trust Wallet. But you can also find the holders. You can also read like how many people are holding this. So the holders are how much is being held by like. Um, like the actual tokens are held by how many wallets? Like as you can see, there's 7,275 addresses holding this token. Now, majority, you want to look for like this sort of thing here. How many? How, what's the percentages of people holding? So as I'm aware, this is top part. This top part here is like the tokens burned. So you can always ignore like the top one, the top address. You want to look below that. So the thing that you want to do right here is to make sure that the token isn't held by a majority of like a small percentage of wallets. So that is a clear indicator that it could be a rug pull. So this is like to do with like mostly like the the hype around like these tokens at the moment, like all these um, meme 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 tokens or whatever you call them. So the simple way is to find out. If majority of the tokens are held by the owners, the founders, or whoever created the token. So this is what you want to do. You want to make sure that this isn't the case. So as you can see, most of it's not held by the owners or the um, founders or anything like that. Which is great to see. You don't want to see like majority being held. Otherwise, it's most likely going to be a rug pull. So let's say you're seeing like somebody holding like 20% or 40% of the total supply. That's most likely um, a rug pull, I would say, most of the time. That's what you want to stay clear of. So that's just a simple way you can find out this information. And I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll be happy to, to answer them. Now, if you, have, if you want any other video suggestions, let me know. And I'll be happy to help, um, happy to talk about, happy to create the videos. I will catch you later. Thank you for watching.